Today we are concluding our February special focus on heart disease with an in-depth look at men and heart disease. The World Health Organization says an estimated 31% of all deaths worldwide are due to cardiovascular disease. That's 17.5 million people each year. The American Heart Association says many men are at high risk for developing cardiovascular diseases. More than one in three adult men in the United States has heart disease. Tobacco use and unhealthy diet and physical inactivity all increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. 80% of all cardiovascular deaths are due to heart attacks and strokes. To continue our look at heart disease, joining us live via Skype from Los Angeles, California, is Dr. Emily Farkas, a cardiothoracic surgeon at Tedo Care Appleton Heart Institute in Wisconsin. Dr. Farkas also serves on the board of trustees for the humanitarian organization Cardio Start International and VOOM Foundation. Dr. Farkas, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much. So let help us to understand heart disease in men. When we hear that men are at high risk of developing heart disease, does it have to do with the bi biology or is it mainly about lifestyle? You know, it's a little bit about both. And I think you hit some of the most important risk factors in your introduction. You know, we, we know that heart disease is uh, caused by things like obesity, uh, inactivity, which can contribute to that um, high cholesterol, uh, smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, so things uh, all affect heart disease. So what are some of the uh, early signs of heart disease in men? You know, everyone uh, manifests it a little bit differently, but most commonly what people will find is that they can't do as much exercise as they used to, or even doing simple activities seems to uh, wear them down, cause fatigue, cause shortness of breath, or commonly some discomfort or pulling or tightness in the chest. Do you find that men are aware of this issue? Do they make it one of the priorities in your practice? You know, that's a, a great question because many don't. So I think we all have a tendency to, um, to minimize what we're experiencing or to uh, blame it on something uh, less severe. And so men tend to do that just as well as women, but it's something that uh, if you notice something in your body that doesn't seem quite right, then it needs to be investigated, and especially with those symptoms that we've talked about or any history in your family of heart disease. So explain to us quickly the extent to which heart disease among men differ according to race and age. Yeah, so as, as we get older, you know, the exposure to things like cholesterol buildup or years of high blood pressure or years of smoke exposure build up, and so the risk is higher as we age. Regarding populations, uh, it's been shown that uh, African-American populations have more heart disease than other populations such as Asian-Americans or Hispanics. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we were to look at some very basic steps to help men prevent the occurrence of heart disease, what would you say? Well, just to uh, keep things like diabetes under control, to be aware of your blood pressure and ways that you can reduce it if it's elevated. Uh, seeing your doctor regularly to have basic tests taken okay. to see if you're at risk. Okay, Dr. Farkas, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And that was Dr. Emily Farkas. She is cardiothoracic surgeon at Thedocare Care Appleton Heart Institute.